I've had the Drake Cutter for about a week now, and these are my thoughts. But before that... Oi! quite happy with the cutter. I'm not going to say I love it though. And it's not an all-rounder. Don't expect to do any bounties with it. But as a starter ship, it's an excellent choice. Now I can't really compare it against any other starter ship except the Aurora. As much as I wish that there was just a little bit more to the cutter, it's got a sturdiness about it. It'll get you near a bunker, easily get the PTV in, and easily roll it out. There are no bugs with this ship that I'm aware of. I've upgraded the shield, I've upgraded the quantum drive, I've also upgraded the cooler which was probably unnecessary and I think that's about as far as I'll go for now. All in all I have zero regrets in getting the cutter. The Drake cutter has been classified as a best utility and best value for money starter ship. It's pretty much middle ground. The Avenger Titan is currently, as of 2022, at number one for best overall starter ship. I don't think that the cutter was designed to outdo ships like the Titan or even the Aurora, which is classed as best budget. There are plenty of options out there. The cutter sits neatly in the middle there as a best utility and best value for money. And that's exactly what it is. Buying options for the Drake Cutter are available on the RSI website. I'm not going to go into details of what those costs are because they are obviously subject to change. It might be worth heading over to the RSI website, have a quick look to see what's available. If you are new to the game, have a quick look at the technical overview for the ship as well, what the ship is actually designed for. If you already know as a new starter what your gameplay style is going to be, then you may already have an idea of what you're likely to purchase. If you're interested in combat, Titan. If you're interested in cargo, maybe consider one of the super starters. I'm quite happy with the cutter at the moment. It'll get me where I need to be in order for me to actually get my fleet together. For me, it's been a daily driver for the last week, give or take the odd cruise in the Taurus and the A2. But predominantly, I've been hitting the bunker missions using the cutter and the PTV. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it, guys. Drop a like, drop a subscribe, and drop into the Discord as well. On that note, do take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one.